guys welcome back to living with the estradas um if you guys are new welcome if you're not new welcome back so today i'm actually going to show you really quickly how i've been making um the super super delicious coffee um so i'm going to show you guys all the things that you need so um i drink uh milk whole milk so that's what i'm going to be using but you can use like skim milk or but yeah i'm using whole milk um, and then you're gonna need some coffee some instant coffee um, I hear you can use ground coffee, but this is just the one that I use because I absolutely love this and Then we're gonna need some sugar Some hot water um, I'm doing it in a bowl with the whisk to show you guys so you guys can see what it looks like You don't have to make it in a bowl and a whisk every time. Um, that's just for me to show you exactly what it's looking like um, I normally do it in the coffee mug that I'm gonna drink from um, I put all the ingredients in my coffee mug and then I do it with a spoon Okay, so I have my bowl and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, one tablespoon of coffee and one tablespoon of sugar and just a little bit of hot water um, it's going to be less than a tablespoon you don't want too much water because if you do too much water it will take forever to whip you just want enough to dissolve the coffee um, grains and then you're just going to whisk and you will see that it'll start changing colors once you're whisking um, it's going to get lighter and lighter and lighter and you can, just can keep whisking up until you get the consistency that you want i wanted it pretty thick so i did whisk a little bit longer honestly it didn't take me more than like a minute and a half honestly just like um like i said i just kept whisking and as you guys can see my consistency is pretty thick and you see how light that color is so that's exactly what i wanted so i'm going to show you guys um i do make it hot so this is just some hot milk not boiling just hot and you can add it all in there and then you're just gonna um, mix it in as much as you want. I know a lot of people like having some at the top for like presentation, but it's not good to me. I like to mix it all in there pretty good. And yeah, I think um, it's completely up to you whether uh, you want to use more coffee or less. I have about 10 ounces of milk and then I use one tablespoon coffee, one tablespoon of sugar, and that's good for me. Um, but you can add more if you'd like, and this is what mine looks like. As you guys can see, it's foamy at the top, but it's so delicious. Um, it seems like it could be a hassle doing it every day, <laughs> but it's so worth it. You can also um, make it cold. You just can put some ice, um, some milk up to, I put it up to almost the rim. And then um, using the same, you know, style method, um, I'm just going just gonna to add some at the top, like so. And um, I pretty much add everything that I make. It seems like a lot, but it tastes really good. And it's not too strong. So, I mean, you can always add more sugar if you want to, but that's just the measurements that I use for mine. So, you can leave it like this if you wanted to um, and just mix it a little bit and add more. But to me, I just want to mix it all together. Um, as you guys can see, it's so, the consistency is just so good. Um, yeah, and then I'm just going to mix it all together. And then that's how you can make your um, iced coffee. I love both versions. I usually make one hot in the morning and then a cold one in the afternoon but that is all you guys it is super super easy to make i promise you would love it if you're a coffee drinker and but yeah thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye